Coverage of Phillipsburg is brought to you by the Garnet Booster Club. It's time for the Group 4 matchup we've all been waiting for, guys. Phillipsburg versus Wayne Hills in the Group 4 bowl game. Let's jump into those highlights. Phillipsburg came out hot in the first few minutes of this game. Stagger keeps this ball and goes for a 27-yard gain and first down. Phillipsburg near the Wayne Hills 25. They would keep it moving. Stagger would find Sterling Walker Sutton near the end zone for a 22-yard gain. And wasting no time after that, Stagger goes to Bobby Corey for the first score of the night. Liners led 7-0 with just under nine minutes left to play in the first quarter. But make no mistake about it, this Wayne Hills offense is the real deal. And Jerron Hayek would illustrate that with a 65-yard touchdown run to answer Peberg's early score just two snaps later. We were all tied up 7-7 with seven minutes left to play in the first quarter. But the Berg would continue to supply offensive pressure. This return looked like it was going to be a disaster. But Nasir Ball dug his team out of a hole and got them all the way down to the Wayne Hills 30. A terrific return that the Liners needed to capitalize on. Stagger goes with another keeper to get the Liners down to the four, but this hard thrown ball from Stagger would cause some problems. Bouncing off the helmet of a Patriot, it was up for grabs and Wayne Hills would snag it for the touchback. Wayne Hills ball on their own 20. And Tom Sharkey would chuck up a ball that Charles Njoku would make a tremendous catch on. Not hard to see why Miami is excited about this 6-5 recruit. Wayne Hills takes the lead 14-7 at the end of the first quarter. Midway through the second quarter, Peberg looking for a critical first down. They would hand the ball off to their guy, Joe Green, and he would get them near the Wayne Hills nine yard line. Staggert and Ray Paremba would then link up for a game time touchdown, 14 all around with 3.43 left to play in the first half. But that was not the end of the Peberg offense in the first half. On the kickoff, Wayne Hills fumbles the ball and number 33, Walker Sutton, slides in for the recovery. Peberg ball on the Wayne Hills 30, and the Liners are ready to capitalize this time. Staggert connects with Walker Sutton for the first down, and then Staggert would take care of the rest. Racing for the corner of the end zone, that put the Liners up 21-14 with all of the momentum going their way as we head into halftime. Second half, the Patriots with the ball first and here comes Wayne Hills. Hayek with the first down near the Peberg 25. That would set up Najoku for another impressive touchdown catch to tie the game back up early in the third quarter. And that would be the end of the scoring during the third quarter, so we skip ahead to the fourth. 11 minutes left to play in the game. Surprise, surprise, Sharkey finds Najoku. A 37-yard touchdown catch gets the Patriots the lead, and they would hang on to it. The Patriots' final score of the game would be a 25-yard handoff to Adam Abita, and that would make the final score 35-21. Phillipsburg was completely scoreless in the second half, and number 18, Christian Puntalillo, made sure of that with this interception. That would be the game, folks, your final 35-21. Wayne Hills is the first ever North Group 4 Bowl game winner. After the game, I caught up with Puntalillo and Njoku, who had three touchdowns in this major victory for the Patriots. I, I just couldn't I couldn't let my team lose. I'm telling you, I, I saw all, all the faces, all the seniors, all the all the hard work we put in the offseason. I just couldn't I couldn't let that happen. They, they, they were tough for us in the first quarter, in the first half, but we really came up and all the whole team, the whole team effort, not just me. I'm telling you, it was great, a great team win. We're both champions. What can I say? Let's go. Nothing beats it. Getting that ball and handed it to my coach, it's the best feeling in the world. After every interception, he said. Give me the ball, I'll do 10 push-ups. So every interception I get, I give him the ball. There's, it's unbelievable, there's nothing like it. We worked so hard for this and it finally, it finally came. From MetLife Stadium, guys, I'm Courtney DuPont. You're watching Jersey Sports Zone. Want to see highlights and features from your favorite school? Jersey Sports Zone is entirely supported by our great sponsors. Email marketing at jerseysportszone.com to get your business in front of our loyal audience and highlights from your hometown. 